See, the, I, man, should I start my own show? They're like reading my mind here. I swear I haven't seen this yet before. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, AKA Dr. Cellini, and I'm a board certified diagnostic and interventional radiologist in New Jersey. On today's video, we are going to be reacting to yet another Dave Ramsey special. And I haven't seen this video, but judging by the title, which is $300,000 student loans paid off plus burnout, pretty confident it's about a physician. I haven't watched it yet, but those two things go hand in hand. So we'll see what it holds, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna be talking about some doctors today. I guess we'll go ahead and get into it. Oh, if you haven't seen my other videos on Dave Ramsey, I think I did like one or two of them before, usually about student debt related stuff. I'll post a link up here and I'll probably put one at the end of the video. So let's get into this one. All right, so without further ado, let's get into the reaction portion of the video. And again, I haven't seen this. I just assume it has something to do with physicians given the large student debt burden. And for some reason, Dave Ramsey loves to talk about physicians, probably because we have such a high student debt burden to begin with. But anyways, this is like the third video I've done now and uh, let's get into it. We recently paid off um, over $300,000 in student loans. Wow. Um, yeah. Wow. Paid it off too? Man, I'm jealous. So jealous. I wish I paid mine off already. Yeah. It took us about four years. I'm a physician. A lot going on here. It took her four years to pay it off. I'm even more pumped to that. And she's a physician. I told you, I knew it. And the title, it said $300,000 in student loans, physician. And now I'm burnt out. I mean, if that's not a physician, I don't know what is. I just had my third baby. And I- I'm sorry I keep pausing this. I know you all hate it when I pause it so much, but physician, third baby, and she paid off her loans in four years. That's really impressive. I feel crazy saying this, but I don't want to return to work. My husband started a full-time job um, at a bank and it would be a major pay cut for me to quit my job. So if he works at a bank, he probably makes nothing compared. Well, I guess I don't know what kind of bank he works at. If he's like a bank teller, his salary is nowhere near her salary. I bet she probably gets paid pretty well as a physician being in Iowa. So we'll see. Yeah, so they're starting at his job as um, a credit analysis and he's kind of a junior credit analysis. So his starting salary right now is 56000 a year. Decent salary. However, I mean that in residency. So compared to what she's making, that's not really a big salary. So if she were to stay at home now, that's a huge loss in salary. We'll see though. Cool, and what do you make now? Me, um, if I go back to work, I'm making about 190,000 a year. She's probably a family medicine doctor. She's probably a pediatrician or some primary care field because that's not a lot of money, especially in a small town in the middle of the US for a physician. So Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Where's Cedar Rapids, Iowa? I always have to look something up when I'm doing this. Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Let's see. I bet that's like smack dab in the middle of the US. Let's see. I mean, Iowa is. Wow, that is literally like smack dab United States. Smack dab. If we were directly in the middle, maybe Kansas, but Iowa, I mean, that's pretty darn close. Its closest major city is probably Chicago. So it's, oh, Minneapolis, Chicago, St. Louis. We'll see how long it is from there to Chicago. Four hours and 15 minutes west of Chicago. There you go. Now you have an idea where Cedar Rapids is, because I had no idea either. Our mortgage, what we own it right now is about 95. We live in a kind of a smaller rural area, 95,000. We're in our mid thirties and our retirement we have about 230,000 in retirement. See, this is very impressive. So a family of four can live off $70,000 and she herself does not have to work as a physician because they can live off that. And the reason they can live off that is because she paid off her student loans and has zero student loan debt, only a little bit of debt on her mortgage, which is fine. $90,000 on your house, no big deal. That's the reason she can do this or even consider it because she has no debt. That's the importance of paying off your student debt ASAP, which is what I want to do. And that's why I keep making so many videos about this. So maybe you can drill into your head and you want to pay off your debt fast too. I sound like such a boomer when I say this. I'm not a boomer, but you know, I feel like I am sometimes. Are you done with it or could you do telemedicine two days a week or go in one day a week? I mean, are you just completely burnt? I feel really burnt and it's really hard to give my all to my husband and my children when I always have that stress on me. I think I just have to maintain my continued medical education and my license. Which, yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know why she just doesn't go, I mean, I should say, I probably know why she doesn't want to go back to work because she's so burnt out, but she could literally just do like one or two days a week and make probably as much as her husband, and that would be fine. 
I think she could totally spend time with her family and not be burned out at the job just working part time. But I've seen so many physicians now who don't even want to work part time. They're so burnt out, which, you know, that's a whole other topic in itself about our field as a whole. But, you know, teach them. The doctors that I've worked with and known over the years are just quite frankly wired differently than the rest of us. I've had several buddies who end up, I'm going to just go, I'm going to quit all this. I'm going to go do a small practice. A couple years later, they're back doing a night a week in the ER. That is facts right there. So many physicians end up doing this. For some reason, they need that like adrenaline rush of being in the ER or being in surgery. So if they get burnt out and then they stop, they like inevitably come back because they just need that that fill, that rush of excitement. And I don't know, it is it is a passion after all. I mean, it sounds so cringy to say, doctors always say that it's a calling, you know, it's a passion, blah, blah, blah. But it's true. And that's, that's basically what he's saying there. I love I liked him for that. The thing I would struggle with the most is not, I, I, you know, yeah, I want you to be with these kids. That's what you want to do. Let's just, let's lay that as the mm -hmm. foundation of the whole discussion. Um, but you have paid such a price of uh, commitment mm -hmm. and diligence to become a doctor. And then as a doctor to pay off the $300,000. So you literally paid a price as well. And you do that by living like a resident after you finish residency. That was key there. And that's so much easier said than done and I'm living proof. It's so much harder to live like a resident again after you have a better salary and better lifestyle and all this stuff, but uh, that's what you gotta do. I'm gonna stay engaged at a greatly, at a 90% reduced level or, or whatever after the child comes and after you you know, take a normal maternity leave or whatever. But like you said, go and hit the rural hospital for a day or two a week, something, anything telemedicine, like John suggested, or whatever it is you want to do, but something to just keep engaged. And the natural result of that is going to be $100,000 a year probably. See, that's what I said. I should be on this show. That's exactly what I'm talking about. All you have to do is work part-time. If you're so burnt out, just work part-time and you can still make a very decent salary. It's all the more reason what he's talking about is we put in so much work to get to this point, it would be stupid to just give it up at the drop of a hat for no reason. And I think that's what kind of Ali Abdal was saying in the video I did where I analyzed his video on quitting medicine link up here that's basically what he was talking about where he tried part-time and he didn't like that either but i think he's rare in that term so i don't know i mean you know that's that's your ir that's irrelevant because you're gonna make plenty of money but some kind of part-time something that fits into your new life that you want to have with these kiddos but also allows you to you know shake the dust off your feet from all of the 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 decade of work you've put into getting to where you are. I'm, I'm sure they exist and they can write in and let me know. I've never met a doctor who walked away and ended up staying away. Ali Abdal. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if he uh, follows through. We'll see. We'll see. A lot of moms of little ones, uh, while they want to be full-time moms, they also want to have adult conversations with adults. Absolutely. And need it. And so that that's, that's in the mix here. So yeah, that, that's, but yes, I would quit. Uh, he never says that. Yeah, I would quit. That's funny. I wouldn't work the hours you're working. I would not stay in the 190 position. You don't have to. You can make it on the 70 plus whatever little, plus the other 70 that you bring in or whatever. Maybe you can match it. See? I, man, I should, should I start my own show? They're like reading my mind here. I swear I haven't seen this yet before. You got to get yourself out there because you're not in a position to That's lay, un you can't lay under a $300,000 blanket. Yes. Uh, and wait until you can yeah. sleep. Yeah. You won't be able to sleep. See, that is the importance. When you pay off that debt, it gives you freedom. Freedom to literally quit your job if you wanted to and spend time with your family, kids, whatever. That is the kind of freedom everybody needs, especially in our position. You know, you've dug a hole now, you gotta get out. Right. And then you can talk about doing what she's doing. Yeah, but Christina but, put in four years of grinding. Yes, they did. Yeah, man. Yeah, especially at a hundred ninety thousand dollars salary. I mean, that's a lot of money. She was probably paying like seven plus thousand a month to pay that off in four years. That's a lot of money. So I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with that video, and I'm more impressed with that doctor who gave herself the freedom to kind of do whatever she wants. Hopefully, you all learned something on this, and hopefully, I can follow suit and be free like she is. So if you like these videos, make sure you let me know in the comments below. Make sure you smash like. Subscribe button, follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you don't already. Make sure you join my channel, new memberships in here as well. You get some cool emojis, you get some cool badges and all that kind of stuff. So join the channel, support the channel, and uh, we'll keep cranking out some videos. As always, I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.